Oh, these extended dog walks aren't going to get that van built, are they? I shall tell you now, you're wasting your time if you think you're going to reason with an Airedale. But back to business, and that business today is fitting the bed. Minimum effort, maximum impact. Everybody wants to get the bed fitted. This is the frame in question that um, I may have spoken about before. It's an aluminium frame. Light, um, comfortable because it's got wooden slats across it and didn't cost a great deal at all. I think it was, I think we sourced it for about 80 quid off the internet, something similar to that. A little bit of minor surgery was involved. These are the metal legs that um, are removed safely from each corner. Um, they have little rubber feet in them, so it's literally just a case of taking the feet out, place them in the, in the holes. There we go, sorted. And of course, not using the centre leg that would go, you're gonna catch that, you do catch that, just go there, because we have the piece of metal that goes across that supports that anyway, so we really don't need that centre leg. Um, so it's just a case of sitting this frame on top of the T-slot. So let's have a look, see how we get on. Okay, a quick look of the full width with no bed in position, followed by the bed frame, bed frame and slats. And finally, the mattress in position, which I think makes the whole space look an awful lot wider. Poor old Ruth. She was slightly more than delicate this morning because she'd been out with the girls last night. When I dropped her off, she didn't look happy. Right, uh, I hope you can tell here, I've got a good couple of inches above my head, which I'm very pleased about because we needed to balance crawl space underneath for the garage and for servicing of bits and pieces like the water pump, the electrics, that sort of thing, true mojito. And being able to sit up in bed comfortably without being, uh, you know, scrunched up like a little prawn. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, the other bits and pieces, yeah, as I say, I think it looks an awful lot wider now. This is a standard width double, and this is plenty for us. Uh, we've only got a standard width double in our bedroom, and space is not of a premium, premium up there. Plenty of space. Here, it is of a premium, so why not have a standard size double here? Am I witching? I am. I apologise. At the side here, we're going to be having... Um, boxes, storage boxes. In fact, let me explain a little bit better. Right, my thought process is, if I'm lying in bed and I need to place my drink down, I'm going to need a surface to put it on. The gap at the side of the bed is sufficient to allow me to install a surface for such an item, or even a bowl of nibbles such as peanuts or olives or something like that. I should also point out, um, I'm a bit of an early riser. In fact, that's a lie. I'm a bit of an insomniac. As such, it'd also be great if I had easy access to my laptop or a book or my iPhone to allow me to listen to podcasts in the night, that sort of thing. Actually, I should also say or take this opportunity to, to go off on a little bit of a tangent. If you want to hear about my great eye mask with Bluetooth built in uh, headphones, let me know and I'll include them in a future, in a future vlog. They really are brilliant. So yeah, uh, laptops, books, iPhones. Um, it'd be ideal if we had little storage bins in the side of these uh, as well. That would save me stumbling around in the dark uh, when I get up in the night looking for them. Something I've done on many an occasion in previous fans. And let me tell you, it doesn't go down well with the Sparkster. So what are we planning? Well, these gaps that I'm drawing here at the moment are representing the little uh, surfaces at the side of the bed. Now they are obviously the full length of the bed which is going to be just over six foot and they are about eight and a half inches uh, wide. Now for those who don't know um, what eight and a half inches looks like 
this keypad is uh, 10 and a half inches. So it's slightly shorter. It's going to come to about there. So you can see between my, my finger and my finger there, you've got plenty of space to be putting a cup, a bowl, a small plate, your book, whatever. The mattress is also about eight inches deep. So the bins, uh, once I've put my top on it, um, it's going to be between about nine and 10 inches deep. So they're going to look similar to this, as I say, eight and a half inches deep. Um, above, I should say, we've we've got, um, so this is the rear, the rear doors. Here, Ruth and I have got reading lights. We've also uh, got little USB points um, for charging our devices, our phones and the like. Uh, they're going to be in the corner. Above uh, these little eight and a half bits, there will also be Highline units all the way down. And underneath those units will be touch lights. So they will illuminate underneath there as well. But on the subject of these surfaces that we're going to be fitting, I was thinking that uh, we would actually um, cut through, I don't know how deep, but how wide I should say, we will put access into the bins um, along the work surface for slotting in on Ruth's side. I don't doubt um, hair dryer, straighteners, that sort of thing. On my side, laptop, books, all the things that I mentioned before. They will go straight the way through the surface, the top surface, into the bins underneath. I will also look to uh, maybe write out like, um, I don't know, like a little tray type area at the top. It doesn't go all the way through, but it'll be um, a little shallow dish type thing in the in the um, wooden surface just for putting bits and bobs in, you know, our um, watches, jewellery, whatever, those things that you take off at night time or you need easy access to. Um, I might do a similar sort of thing with um, a little right of place for putting a little nibbles bowl or even your... your um, your pint glass or your wine glass or something similar. I don't know. It's, it's all going to be work in progress. The point I'm trying to make is you've got eight and a half inches either side there and it's going to be ideal for placing bits and bobs on. I should also point out that we've got a little hookup plug there and a little hookup plug there either side. Um, so you might want to be plugging things in there as well, which can rest on that surface. And it is as simple as that. Put your hat on. Mm. Mm. Right, we can't do anything without um, buying material. So it's off to being cute for us. What a treat. Oh, look at him, he's furious. Raph, you don't yeah. like being cute. Blimey, <laughs> that's not been open for a while. Just for the record, I'd like everyone to know that I really, really say nothing against the people of being cute but I tend to agree with Ruth. I hate coming here. We're not happy. There's there's no four by eight sheets. This is my not happy face. Oh, you had that before to be honest. Uh, right okay um, I think we're gonna have to change things somewhat. We'll leave the quarter inch ply We'll have to get MDF and we'll have to get two by eights. This is shit. I've just found the stuff he's looking for. Pays to bring a woman when you go shopping. Doesn't it, Malcolm? No comment. Best thing about coming to being cute, though? There's no best thing about coming to being cute. Free cut service.
didn't it? Yeah, away from that ghastly place. Ghastly. But on the plus side, we did see uh, a lady in there who asked if we were YouTubers. She must have seen you filming bits and pieces, and we uh, have now got another lady that's going to be watching us because she's doing her own craft. So she was getting some ply cut. Indeed, yeah. I bet you didn't get her name either. No, but she said she was going to bob us a message, so that's nice. Okay. So good luck to her and her endeavours. Indeed, good luck. Right, I think um, that's all the wood bought anyway. That's that's all the wood bought anyway, so I guess we're going to get that fitted. That ain't going to be fitted today though. Why is it not going to be fitted today, Ruth? Because we're going to the pub. We're going to the pub. Yeah, we're going for um, Shelley's birthday drinks, aren't we? Yeah. So only going to go for an hour or so. Yeah. Um, Sounds like you're giving Shelley taste to everybody today. Yeah. Big shout out to my friend Shelley. Um, Okay, we, yeah, I am um, meeting, giving shout out, so I am meeting Carl down there too, who's also doing our crafter, everybody's doing our crafters. Um, so, I guess it could be a business meeting? Yeah. Of sorts? Yeah. Right, okay. Anyway, I think um, that's it for now, we're going to get that fitted um, in the coming days. It won't be in this vlog though, so... Um, you need to order material as well. So in the next vlog, I think we can expect, hopefully, cupboards built. Hopefully, cupboards covered in some kind of material. We're not entirely sure yet. We were discussing it in B&Q. Mm. And hopefully a bit more progression. Yeah. So, um, tis the season to be Charlie, so you're not going to get too much from us today. Catch you again.